Hi, today we will see how you can manage TDS in Deskera books. So TDS stands for tax deducted at source. We'll see how you can set up TDS rates, apply them in bills and view the reports. Click on settings, TDS setup. You can add a new rate from here. We click on add. Select the nature of income payment. Let's say section 194i. I'll add a TDS rate, I'll add the exemption limit. The duct type, let's say this is applicable from 1st of April. I'll click on save. Now my TDS rate has been created. I need to create a service and also a contact for this. Let's see how we can create a service. Click on product. Let's call it rent. We select this TDS applicable as yes. We define the nature of income payment as the one that we had just created. So this needs to be same. We need to make sure that the TDS rate has been configured and created in settings. Select this. Click on save. Let me create a contact. I'll key in the PAN number. We'll say TDS is applicable, yes. I quickly key in the TAN number, the deducted type is company. So in case you want to consider the exemption limit, you can select this. If there's a lower rate that is applicable for this particular contact, you can select this and define the lower rate. So you need to define the from and to date also in this case. The certificate number and everything gets shown over here. Else if there's a higher rate that is applicable for this contact, for some reason you can define that as well. So we've given provisions for everything. Let me quickly add the address as well. I click on save. Let's create a transaction now. Let's start with create a bill. I'll select this contact. Let me add the service. If you want to deduct the TDS, you can click on deduct TDS from more options. You can see everything gets picked up automatically based on the rate settings that you had defined. If you want to change the percentage or the accessible value. So in some cases you need to define a different accessible value. You can do that and the changes are immediately reflected. Else you can click on submit and save. So the TDS has been successfully deducted. It shows up over here. Click on save. So this transaction that is number 12 has been created. Let's go to reports. So we have something called as a TDS details report. So click on this. This is the transaction that we had just created. The various details related to this, the document date, contact name, contact details, address, PAN number, nature of income payment, deductive types, accessible value, everything gets captured. It also shows the due date by which you have to make the TDS payment. And if there's any overdue, it also shows the number of overdue by months. Let's look at another use case. Let's say we decide not to deduct the TDS right now. Let's pick up the same combination. Now I will save this without deducting the TDS. It gives you a warning message. I want to create this without TDS. I say yes. This bill number 13 has been created. Let me go to reports. We have a separate report called TDS not deducted. 
you can view all those transactions for which TDS has not been deducted directly from here. So all the details get captured over here. Another way to deduct TDS from transactions is via an account or a ledger. So you may want to create a ledger, use it in the expense bill and deduct TDS. Let's see how we can do that. We go to chart of accounts, click on add. Let me add an expense ledger. Is TDS applicable? I say yes. I'll tag the appropriate nature of income over here. I click on save. I click on create new expense bill. Now I'll add this account or ledger over here. I click on deduct TDS. Let me select the correct account over here. So you can see when I had selected the previous ledger, it did not give me an option to deduct TDS. This is because I had not defined the TDS details at the ledger level. So in order to deduct TDS, you need to enable TDS at the chart of account. Only then you can deduct TDS. So this will ensure you do not make any incorrect transactions. I click on deduct TDS. You can see the TDS details get captured. You can key in remarks. Click on submit. And a transaction gets saved. We've also given a small functionality wherein you can add TDS rates directly from transactions. So let's say we are creating a bill. Let me add the same landlord. The rent product. I'll key in the rate. So let's say you had incorrectly mapped the nature of income payment or you had not created the right rate and you want to change this from this transaction. So it immediately gives you a message that could not find the TDS rate because we had not created this in the settings. So you need to add a new rate from here. You click on add new. Everything is auto selected. You only need to define the TDS rate. Exemption limits. The applicable from click on save and this gets auto calculated you can click on submit and save this you can go to reports and view all the tedious details that you have deducted till now in the report section it also gives you expense bill and bill categorization that is a document type and the other details. So this is how you can manage TDS in Deskera. Please do try this out and share your feedback with us. Thank you.